Hello, this is Jeff Neville for Selective Imagery. Welcome to Photos of the Week, episode 13. Uh Uh-oh, unlucky number 13. Let's hope the photos aren't horrible. We'll start off with a gull flying around with an eel in its mouth. There were a lot of gulls this day feeding. This one, I don't normally put in fish from the back end view, but you can see it trying to catch an eel. You can see a little bit of it sticking out. Then it overshoots it. It didn't get it. You can see the eel behind its behind. And of course, it can't slow down. So there's the eel in the air. And the bird did not succeed this time, but something tells me that eel got eaten by somebody else. Here's uh, a gull getting a small uh, shrimp that's jumping in the air. I got several pictures of that. Here's the gull chasing down a group of them that are jumping. At first you don't know what it is. It takes you a while to realize that it is shrimp. Here's a series of shots of a bird in flight coming towards me with a good sized shrimp. So you're going to see this. These are all tack sharp Z9 500 PF lens, 10 frames a second. No problems at all. Very happy with the shots, very happy with the uh, background colors. This is the closest one where the shrimp look the best, where you can really see the size of it. And then here's another one getting a, a small shrimp from above the water line. Now this one, it overshot it, it you know, flexes its head backwards and still manages to get the shrimp. Now there are other birds other than gulls, so here's a great egret plucking out a very small fish. While an anhinga is drying off. Now they don't have oil glands, so they have to dry their wings, spread their wings and dry it. It's not like the water that beads up and rolls off a duck. Here's another egret with a light hitting it just right. And I, I call this one the gummy eel shot. It almost, you know, you can see all the, the stickiness and the bill of the, of the egret. And who can't fall in love with a painted bunting, even if it is hanging out by a bird bath? And this is a reminder of the unfortunate fish kill with the mullet gasping for air at the top of the water. And now a few beach shots. Now these were late in the afternoon. These were like early evening, 6.30 at night. So you can see the, the light is just touching the top. There's shadows. This is my minimal, minimalist shot of the ring-billed uh, gull by itself on the sand. And this is cool. These are some pelicans in flight uh, flying over the surf. And I'm going to have a very short video of this. I don't normally put video um, in my photos of the week, but they were just so cool to watch. I figured, well, I'll give you an extra treat, even though I was kind of far away. Um, it's just cool to watch them flying in. It's just, it's just funny how they just hover right above the waves. And in between the waves at times as well.
Like I said, I'm normally not at the beach at this hour of the night. I'm, I'm usually a morning shooter. But this was a nice treat to catch this. They are neat to watch. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, share, and uh, leave me a comment. I'd like to hear from you. Remember, enjoy life, capture some of it, get out there and shoot.